everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site again today. This morning I just finished up out in the kitchen area, uh, finishing all of the little box beams that are holding all the lights, get all the electrical boxes in for those. Pretty much set with all the electrical stuff that I can do until my dad comes back again tomorrow. He's been here like every other day. He's been uh, really helping me out a lot with that. Uh, but for now, I kind of finished up all the wiring stuff I can do on my own, so I'm doing other stuff. As you can see, I've got uh, some of these walls in uh, here with the little batten strips holding down the plywood. I think it came out alright. I mean, it's just a utility room pantry kind of thing, but, you know, I think it'll go okay. What I'm working on here is what's remaining in this area. Uh, I'm going to be foaming up this entire wall, and this area here I'm going to leave open because it gives me access to the plumbing, both to uh, fix anything that's in there. You know, the plumbers have had some issues. I mean, this thing here, the, this bucket is here because this is leaking. There's other issues with the plumber's work. I'd like to be able to get in and change things if I need to. Uh, but just in addition to that, it's nice that you, you can get in there and just check out. Like, if you suspect maybe there's a leak, if, if I just boarded that thing up, you know, if I suspect that there's a leak, it's unlikely that I'm going to want to, like, go cutting a hole in my wall you know, just to check something out. But if there's an access pat, uh, panel there, I can just pull it off, check quickly, and be like, oh, okay, everything's fine. Or, oh my god, I'm glad that I checked. Um, so I'm going to be putting a, a panel there, but the rest of it's just going to get foamed up. Uh, if you note down here, there's a little uh, three-inch vent pipe that's just another piece of these uh, stuck down in here. And the purpose of that is, um, well, if you guys recall a while back, before we really started putting any walls in here, there was always kind of a a damp corner over in the corner of the foundation over here. It tended to attract humidity, it was cool, uh, and things condensed over there. That's not a great recipe for wood, and from the very beginning when I started noticing that, I started thinking, you know, once I put that, that shower unit in there, there's not going to be, like, air accessing that area. You know, what can I do to try to keep that area from getting, you know, rotted out? So I've been thinking about it, and uh, what I've come up with is the following. Uh, the stairs, uh, you know, right behind the wood stove, uh, come up to right here. The stairs are over a warm closet, and the warm closet is going to warm the inside area of the stairs. That's going to create a natural convection current. There's going to be warm air up in there. What I think I want to do, at the moment I've decided to do this, <laughs> but I may change my mind, I want to get a three-inch conduit that will come out of, like, I'm going to box that in, and it's going to draw air that is warm from inside the stairs. There we go. Uh, and it's going to bring it down and drop it in here. And I'm just going to use a small 12 volt fan. They can just run off of uh, you know solar power. When the sun's out, it'll run. When the sun's not, it won't. But that will get this kind of warm, hopefully dry air kind of pumping back into the uh, back area behind the shower unit. And we'll just sort of keep some fresh, dry air going in there so it doesn't just accumulate damp, 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 damp. That's my hope. Um, we've got the endoscope, so I can check and see how that's working. Uh, that corner is not an easy one to just check. Like I said, this panel here, I can just pop off, see if everything's okay. That corner is a little bit difficult, so I guess I've got the endoscope, and I can go back in there and just see how things are working. But for the moment, while I'm foaming, I'm leaving a little pasture there, so later on, I can connect those two together. And that's what I'm doing today. That's it. Thanks for watching.